Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question best time to buy and sell stock with transaction fee. So you are given array prices where price i is the price of a given stock on the i day and the integer fee representing a transaction fee. Find the maximum profit you can achieve. You may complete as many transactions as you like, but you need to pay the transaction fee for each transaction. And, and this is a note. So you, you may not engage in multiple uh, transactions simultaneously. So you must sell the stock before you buy again. So let's see the example. So you are given this price list and the fee is two and the output is eight because the maximum profit can be achieved by so by buying at price zero. So that is one and then selling at uh, price three, eight and then buying uh, at uh, price four and then selling at uh, price five and the total should be eight minus one and then minus two is a transaction fee plus 9 minus 4 minus 2 and the total 8 so that's why output is 8 okay so let me explain with this example 1 3 2 8 4 9 and the fee equal to so to solve this question i think the most important thing is that when we should buy the stock and when we should sell the stock we don't know when so that's why every time we keep the max profit by uh, buying the stock and by selling the stock so we initialized um, by buy variable with a negative one and the sell variable with zero. So the reason why um, we initialized buy variable with um, negative one is that, so in this case, on the first day, um, so stock price is one. So currently um, we don't sell anything, so profit is zero, right? So that's why in this case, if we buy the um, stock on the first day that uh, so total profit should be a um, negative one right so if this price is two so that should be negative two so it's simple and uh, we don't sell anything so that's why um, sell profit should be zero on the first day right and then we start iterating from the second day I mean three and uh, we have two choice to keep max profit by buying the stock so B stands for buy, and uh, one choice is not buy the stock on that on that day, so second day, and uh, the other choice is uh, buying buying the stock on that day. So if we don't buy the stock on the second day, so current max profit is minus one versus. So if we buy the stock on the second day, so we need to subtract today's price from current selling profit so selling profit is a return value because we have to sell the stock if we get the max profit not to buy right so that's why this is a, a, a like a actual um, profit so current actual profit so that's why um we subtract today's price from current uh, sell profit so in this case zero zero minus three so and then definitely minus one is uh, bigger than minus three, right? So that's why in this case, uh, we decide not buy the stock on the second day. So still minus one. So how about uh, selling profit? So the same thing. Uh, if we don't sell the stock on the second day, so max profit, the current max profit is zero. So zero versus, so if we sell, sell the stock on the second day, so currently our uh, max profit by buying the stock is negative one so that's why um so minus one so we buy the stock on the first day and then sell the stock on the second day so that's why plus three and then uh, every time we have to pay the like a transaction fee so in this case two so minus two so total should be zero so that's why selling profit should be still zero. And then move next. So we do the same thing. So if we not, uh, if we decide not buy stock on the third day, so max profit should be minus one versus uh, if we buy the stock on the third day, so current sell profit is zero minus two. So minus one is a bigger than minus two. So in this case, we decide not buy the stock on that day. 
So minus one is a still max profit by buying the stock on the first three days, right? It's obvious, right? And then um, how about the sales profit? So current sale profit is zero versus so current buy max profit is minus one. So minus one plus if we uh, sell the stock uh, on the third day, so profit is two. And then we have to pay a uh, transaction fee, minus two. In this case, minus one. So zero is a uh, still max profit. And then move next. So current buying the stock, uh, max profit by buying stock is minus one. And then uh, selling stock, uh, selling profit is zero minus eight. So if we buy the stock on the fourth day, that should be minus eight. So still minus one is a max profit. And then how about a sell profit? So zero is a current max versus minus one plus. So if we sell the stock on the fourth day, we get eight. So eight minus two. So that means plus five, right? So that's why update sell profit to five. So currently this five is a max profit on the fourth day. And then on the first fourth day and and then move next. So still our cur uh, current max profit is minus one. So minus one passes. So currently um, sell profit, max sell profit is five. So that's why five minus, so today's price is four and four. So five minus four is one. So, and the current max profit is negative one. So one is bigger than minus one. So that's why update buy profit to one. And then how about a uh, sell profit? So current max profit is five. And uh, here is a important point. So in this question, we can't buy and sell at the same time, right? But uh, so on the fifth day, I update max buy profit to one. But uh, this is a update value. So, and uh, this is uh, from like uh, selling the profit. So that's why um, we need to uh, use this minus one this time. So how can we do that? So it's simple. Before calculate uh, max buy profit, we keep max buy bar profit to temp variable so that we can use minus one with a temp variable. So yeah, I'll show you how to write the call later. It's very simple. And then, so that's why we can use um, minus one with temp variable. So my so this time minus one plus so uh, if we sell the stock on that day we get uh, four so four minus two so that's why um, plus one so five is bigger than plus one so that's why current max sell profit is five and then uh, next we find a nine so current by max profit is one so that's why case one and the uh, current max sell profit is five so five minus nine and uh, minus four so one is a uh, um, bigger profit so that's why I keep one and how about the uh, sell profit five and uh, yeah so now we can use uh, uh, this one so one plus and uh, if we sell the stock today, so we get nine. So yeah, there's no space. So nine minus, um, so transaction fee, uh, two. So that means um, 10 minus two and eight. So now max profit should be eight. And then we finish iteration. So all we have to do is just return sell profit, eight in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code.
Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, calculate the length of price. And if um, length is less than 2, in the case, we should return 0, right? If not the case, um, initialize the uh, by variable uh, with a uh, minus price 0. So first day. Oh. I forgot to equal and uh, cell initialized with zero and uh, start iterating so for i in range and uh, start from first day to end day and uh, first of all as I explained earlier every time we keep um, current by uh, profit because uh, it might be changed so first of all, calculate the uh, um, max profit by uh, buying the stock. So buy equal max and uh, buy versus not buy versus sell minus um, pr prices and uh, that day. And then next, calculate the sell equal max and sell not sell versus sell so in this case we use a temp plus prices that day minus fee yeah and after that just return sell yeah so let me submit it looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n where n is a length of prices list so this is because we iterate through uh, the price list once in the loop. So that's why. And the space complexity of this solution should be order of one. So constant amount of extra space. So yeah, we don't use uh, extra data structure, just sim simple variable like buy, sell, and temp. Yeah, so that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.